Yeah. My bank think I'm selling dope cause I'm paid way different, huh? Seven racks are publishing two times a day Isn't it crazy? I don't talk a lot but somehow sound contagious with it Okay, she keep me in her mouth, not my name Da-da, da-da, tell me who you love When I count this cash, it start to hurt my thumb Da-da, da-da, I become so numb And my haters in denial, here's a number you can dial Da-da, da-da, brand new text, new connect Brand new tech, ask Alexa who up next She hit me back and said I'm all in on they rolls If I had a better check, better yet If I'm wrong, I would cut and disconnect I'm like damn, oh that's really how you feel Oh for real, if I'm wrong, disappear like Copperfield What's the deal, I'm a safe bet Safe bet, you a bum If you bet against a kid, you are really da da dumb My bank think I'm selling dope cause I'm paid way different, huh? Seven racks are publishing two times a day Isn't it crazy? I don't talk a lot but somehow sound contagious with it Okay, she keep me in her mouth, not my name Da-da, da-da, tell me who you love When I count this cash, it start to hurt my thumb Da-da, da-da, I become so numb And my haters in denial, here's a number you can dial Da-da, da-da, what is this? Send the stage, I make it All rain. All right, ACC family, I'm here at That's My Dog in Katy, Texas. And I have Kev here with me. Thanks for having me over. Hey, man, thank you for coming. Really it's appreciate it. So, um, That's My Dog, how did this all start? Well, we um, met a guy out in front of the Metropolitan Art Museum okay. in New York. Um, had a hot dog cart, and his line was around the corner. Yeah. And uh, it was really, really cold in the winter time when we went. I didn't get out, yeah. but I was thinking to myself, those hot dogs have to be phenomenal. Went back that summer, lying same length. I decided to go stand in it, taste the hot dogs. And after I tasted the hot dogs, they were good, but I recognized it was the guy's personality that was drawing everybody to the cart. And so I asked him an honest question. I said, hey man, I counted your money as I've been sitting here. Um, how much money do you make selling hot dogs? He said, are you gonna believe me if I tell you? Yes, sir. He said, somewhere north of a million dollars. Wow. Blew my mind. Wow. I stepped out of line. I called my wife Ryan immediately and said, you know what? I think I have our next investment. That's crazy. So it is all started from pretty much you running into that line and seeing yep. this guy yep. make a fortune off of this. Yep. Did you ever have like a passion for hot dogs or? Nope, the no. truth is I'm not really passionate about cooking food. Okay. I love to eat it. Yeah. I'm not really passionate about cooking it, but I'm passionate about people. Uh -huh. And people really love good food. Yeah. And so I want to do whatever it takes to make people happy, to make people feel loved on. And when people bite into this food, they feel loved on. Yes, and I noticed, one thing I noticed that you do too is when you had customers come in, you'll say, oh, family. You'll call them family. That's like a really nice touch that I find very unique. It makes them feel at home. Absolutely. So I'm really excited to get into these dogs. How many hot dogs do you have on the menu? Oh, well, it all depends because we have a, a classic dog that you can change into any style dog you like to do. Um, and so we have eight dogs on the menu, but you can change the puppy dog into several different kinds of dogs when you add your favorite toppings. And then what's the most popular hot dog that people usually go for? It would have to be our barbecue beef brisket hot dog. Okay, yeah. okay, so I'm really excited to try that on, that one out. Yeah. Um, is there any hot dog that you really are looking forward to see one of us eat? Well, um, it's the, do the dog we created the challenge. We have what we call the Yada Ramin Challenge. We're from the Bay Area, California. Um, that's a, you know, just a, a slang term that we use there. Yeah. Uh, but it is a seven pound hot dog. Uh, comes with fries, comes with chicken, brisket. Uh, it comes with coleslaw, it comes with mac and cheese. And so uh, it's always fun to watch someone try to take down seven pounds of food. Seven pounds, that sounds crazy, family. But I'm really excited. I'm really, I'm ready to dive in. Uh, where can they find you at here? So uh, we're in Katy, Texas, okay. 22635 Morton Ranch Road. Uh, you can follow us on Instagram um, or Facebook at That's My Dog TMD. And once again, I want to say thank you so much Absolutely, for having me Absolutely, man. Here. It's a pleasure. They're showing me so much love, and I'm ready to dive into these dogs. Let's, Let's do it. CCC family. Let's go look at the food. Bank think I'm selling dope because I'm paid way different, huh? Seven racks are publishing two times a day. Isn't it crazy? I don't talk a lot, but somehow sound contagious with it. Okay, she keep me in her mouth, not my name. Da-da, da-da, tell me who you love. When I count this cash, it started All right, you dog. guys, Kev is going to explain every dog that he has prepared for us. Kev, what we got over here? So this right here is our number seven. It's known as our Texas Cali dog. It's kind of the best of both worlds. We're in Texas from Cali. Uh, the brisket that's on there is uh, 
smoked um, in-house, make our own rubs, uh, make our own barbecue sauce for the topping. And um, on the wall there, my grandparents, Willie Mae Reed um, and Samson Reed, uh, they're our legacy. So this is her recipe for coleslaw and my grandfather's recipe for brisket. Oh, um, sitting here is what we're most known for. It is our number five. It's our barbecue beef brisket hot dog. Most folks eat it with cheese and onions. Our barbecue sauce comes in spicy or mild. So it depends on how folks like to eat it. Um, this one here, before we get to that big one in front of you, this is just kind of a Chicago style dog. You can come in and uh, order a dog with all your favorite toppings on it. We like to make sure that we're able to accommodate everyone's palate. This puppy here, this is the Yara Ramin. Uh, yeah. Again, we're from the Bay Area. Mm. Uh, mm. <laughs> <laughs> so, so this is um, a seven pound hot dog challenge. You get 30 minutes to eat it. Um, it's an uh, 18 inch hoagie roll. It has sausage down underneath. It has a thin layer of macaroni and cheese. Um, and then you have your barbecue brisket, your barbecue ribs, your barbecue chicken, and your Cajun coleslaw on top with a truffle fries. So um, if you feel like you're an eater, you like to take challenges, come see us. I like to see you beat it. Uh, this here is our Mexicali fry. Um, this is our loaded fry. Fries down on the bottom, brisket, uh, pico de gallo, slaw, uh, sour cream, and top with our barbecue sauce. Uh, this is more of a nostalgic kind of move. This is um, our number six is our Frito Pie Dog. Um, our house made chili and cheese, onions, pico de gallo, sour cream. Um, and then last but not least, this is our number four. A lot of folks traditional Coney Dog. Uh, do it with chili, onions, and mustard here. That's my dog. We like to add cheese. So uh, fellas, dig in. Let me know what you think. Oh, all right. Wow. Wow. What did the people get if they went to challenge? So um, they're we just started our renovation, but there's a, a wall of fame. All right, no. um, so there's a wall of fame that you grow up on, your face, your time. When folks walk in, you're a celebrity around here. Yeah, so yeah, um, yeah. Yeah, it's kind of, kind of our hall of fame. Has yeah. anybody beaten this challenge? This challenge has been beaten. It's been beaten three times. Three times. Um, it's been failed many times, but we have had three people. Hey, wow. Okay, she keep me in her mouth, not my name. Tell me who you love. When I count this cash, the starter hurt my stun. Da 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 da. What it is, what it do, Z Double C Crew, it's your boy Becky Chuck And I am back again with another banger for you guys. And we're gonna bang this Today I got the team with me. How you guys doing, fellas? Good. This is uh, Good. Team Gong. Uh, I've been doing individuals, and finally we got the whole team together. And we're here in Katy, Texas at That's My Dog. Uh, Kev and Ryan invited us to have a feast. And I'm super excited. As you guys see earlier, he explained each dog, and I got the challenge in front of me. I'm gonna try to conquer it, but we'll, we'll see how this goes. But uh, let's go ahead and get a prayer. We already got a thumbnail before we uh, start it. But let's get a prayer, you guys, and then dive in. Father God, I wanna thank you for this food that we're all about to receive in our body. And I ask that you do please bless this food. In Jesus' name we pray, amen. 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 Let's see, fellas. Let's go, let's go, let's go. So who wants some of this challenge, dog? Yeah, I definitely want some of that. that. You can get it. All right, bad, 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 bad. Go ahead and knock that out. <laughs> This thing is massive. Uh, I don't know if we should try that. You think you can handle it? This would be like, that's it's nice. This yeah, yeah. stretch, but mm -hmm. man, I mean, just, oh, oh, yeah. that would be a real challenge. Oh, absolutely not. Mm -hmm. I could probably do one bite of it. Because like, Rob, Rob knows, like, that's I, a lot of food in there. I've eaten meals where I'll literally gain like nine pounds. Oh, you know how I get down, yeah. too. I like yeah. to eat. I like to eat. Yeah. I think all of us could. Oh, you got that knife, though? Oh, you want to see it? Yeah, I guess that's Honestly, the flavor on here is crazy. I can smell it. Hey, who else want to uh, switch up before we get over? Yeah, I'm, I'm, I'm down. I'm going to get you. I'm just cutting mine and then setting it on this tray and then oh, nice. I'll send it down. I'm going to just go easy. Yeah. I'm, uh, this is probably, I think this is going to be my favorite right here. Mm -hmm. What is this one called again? This is, oh, that's that's Rob's, yeah. That's yeah. Okay. Which one was this called again? Excuse me. Where, where'd you get it from? Uh, right here. This is a brisket dog. Brisket dog. Brisket dog. dog. I'm yeah. excited. Look, it got barbecue sauce on it? It does. Oh, yeah. I love barbecue sauce on my own. I'm from Chicago. Yeah, that's Chicago fucking fire. Mm. Mm. I love it's Chicago. Chicago yeah. is underrated with the type of food they Oh, yeah, have. facts. It's so good. Sorry, so I love Chicago food. This is good. Yeah, I love a brisket dog. Yeah, mm. that's that, uh, that California yeah. and, uh, mix, right? No, this one's a California, California mix. mix. Yeah, you want to make for this one? He has. Oh, so oh yeah. I need some of that coleslaw. Can you, can you dump me? What's it? Okay, take this one. Thank you, thank you, thank you, sir. Okay, you know how that's mixed. We showed that down there. Yeah, okay, so I'll start sending these down. Yeah, I'm gonna send this down. Good. Mm. I got that. Good, good, good. 
Yeah, I can't wait to get me a bite. Oh, <laughs> what about me? Oh, my bad. This is about, I like when you get some good chip, man. I don't know what it is about chip. Yeah. yeah. That's like a munchie meal. Thank you. Thank you. Wow, that looks crazy. Oh, yeah. Oh, ready to dig in? Fire. Fire. I'm for real. You got to get it all in my way. What is this one? Welfare that's not going to challenge y'all. Hey, hey you, get your, you get your name on the wall. <laughs> your picture. Is this mustard? Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. I'm not a big mustard fan. Oh. Ooh. <laughs> mm -hmm. Well, hot dog. Oh, really? <laughs> I see my dog now. Yeah. Let's watch something you guys have hot dog. Mm. Um, I don't know. Know. These guys are, so like, <laughs> I, I got hot dogs the other day. Yeah. Plus, and apparently Snoop and Rob don't eat hot dogs because they're too brown. <laughs> <laughs> they like, I'm too brown to eat a hot dog. This is well, a, listen, I'm like, we, oh, were, we are American. We, we were talking about gourmet hot dogs. We were yeah. talking about them little hot dogs and the little like slivers. Like a regular hot dog. We're <laughs> making them boiling and water. Yeah, but this gourmet yeah, stuff is this this just something them. different. Yeah. 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 Is it the bee's knees? <laughs> I went overboard with that. Huh? <laughs> hey, chop up that, um, what is that, Chicago dog? Yeah, let me try that. Yeah, I need parts of this too, though. Hey, the, the bun, too, how soft it is. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Man, oh, I got you, I got you. Thank you. Man, you know what would be good? If they made a Snoop dog. <laughs> <laughs> hey, what would be on it? Y'all want some hot sauce? Yeah, yeah, what, what do we got? What do we got here, Ketchup, uh, mustard. Hey, you want to take a little chop off? Yeah, definitely. So I don't have so slow. <laughs> I got a joke right here. The one you're saying you don't eat. <laughs> Basically. I'm going to save this. I'm going to try to keep going for this one real quick. Yeah, let's get white again. I would like to see what that taste is like. Oh, which one? This one? Hey, Rob, what's going on? Yeah, that's what I'm saying. I was trying to break it off for y'all, but let's call it. Hey, we everybody, started small. We, we started everybody small. Everybody said, let me just see how far I can get. And then yeah. you guys died, man. Well, Otherwise, I'm definitely willing to share with you. With the team. Mm. I'm blowing the jalapeno on You trying to get some of this Ooh. one, James? Hey, you might like this one, sir, because you like spicy. Yeah, I love spicy. I mean, this spicy to me. This part of the spicy to you. Oh, this got macaroni and cheese on it. I know really? that one. That got me. <laughs> got mac and cheese? Yeah, yeah I, need, I need to try that. Is there one out James, can you pass your plate over? Yeah, me. Thank you, sir. Can you want some? Oh, what is that? Here we go. They need some mac and cheese. Juicy Sea Cabin. This ain't gonna be no meat eating. Bro, you eating that one, yeah? Yeah, yeah, I've been out one, yeah. Oh, okay. I, I fill up chunk and then uh. Can we pass one of those? What about this one? Yeah, let's pass that one down here. Yeah. You get, uh, oh, I didn't get a piece of that one. Yeah, I feel it. Oh, that one's fire. We'll send I didn't get a piece of that. Yeah, send it back. I wanna try that. I'll give you cut some. We'll send it <laughs> back. Whatever that bag of cheese on it. It's already on the I'm gonna need to try that. Woo. Okay, that's this one. Yeah. I'm going to got, um, the jalapeno in it. Give it a little kick. Oh no, I'm good. You good? Everybody got napkins? Mm -hmm. Honestly, to finish this, I'm good. To finish this, you have to be a professional eater. Yeah. What did James say? He used to do that. James used to eat hot dogs for a living or something like Not that. Not hot dogs. Yeah, he, used to, he used to do eating competition. I'm like, I've done a handful of them, yeah. So he actually he actually put me on like a crazy, crazy thing that I never knew. What was it? I forgot. It's yeah, like you gotta do something. You gotta do, oh, cabbage the night before, Yeah, right? like the night before you eat like a lot of raw cabbage, it stretches your stomach. And like the next day, it's just more elastic. You yeah. attract more food in there. Assuming you digest it that night. Mm -hmm. You can do it earlier in the day, mm -hmm. but I used to eat a lot of cabbage to stretch out my stomach. And uh, then I will just go ham the next day and try to do it. Yeah. I remember one time in, uh, in high school, I had a, I think I had like a, a borderline C or D in my Spanish class, mm -hmm. and that convinced our professor to let us have a taco eating contest <laughs> for to boost your grade up to the next <laughs> level. He was the dopest teacher, but I convinced him to let us do that. And like kids from different classes were coming to cheer us on and stuff, and I smoked everybody. That's right. Yeah, and then, he, and then passed the class. Yeah. yeah. So uh, shout out, Mr. Jarvis. <laughs> <laughs> That's one thing. Yeah, yeah, we could pass that. Yeah, we could definitely throw it out. That's one of the yeah. dopest things about us. Yeah. Hey, we forget about these rides. Let me get some. No, of them look fire, and I definitely want to pass that. Some yeah. Who can eat the most out of all of us? Uh, uh, I'm probably giving it to James. Yeah, I'm gonna give that to James. Cause even though I don't, I don't even, even want that. <laughs> even though I'm, I'm, a, even though I'm a big guy, 
I just don't eat a lot of food. You know what I mean? I just can't eat a lot at one time. My problem comes in is I eat at night. You know what I mean? That's oh, how that big is oh. for me. <laughs> I'm a big night. It's so big, it's big as hell for you at night. Yeah. It, is, it is be creeping in the yeah. <laughs> I'm a big night here too. I wake up in the middle of the night and like go grab a bag of chips. Last night, last stuff. night too. I wake up in the middle of the night and like we'll make a whole meal and just go back to sleep. I don't know what it is. Oh, yeah, you had like. See, what's not what you do though? I notice whenever you eat, after you just like you'll take a few bites and then stop eating for a while yeah. and then be like conversating, texting or something. Yeah, and then my, go back um, to eat. my stomach like. I'll feel full mm-hmm. after like the first few bites and I have to like let it settle and then I'll get hungry again. So it takes me like a lot longer to eat than a lot of people. But I, I can get it done. I just need a little more time. Okay. Mm-hmm. Yeah, my problem is overeating. Like I'll feel full, but I hate wasting. I don't like things over waste. Yeah. Uh, I mean, so I'm like, I'm just gonna eat it. And, you know, cause I don't really eat leftovers like that either. So I just gotta dog it, let it go. And then, you know, and then pay for you it gotta later. dog it? <laughs> <laughs> Dog that, that's my dog. Mm-hmm. Great dog in these hot dogs. Now this um, the hot sauce and fries is like great, great right there. So mm-hmm. I gotta put it. Oh, you got to. It's the it's the it's the best touch. Mm-hmm. Y'all like hot sauce on y'all fries? Yeah. No. You, you don't eat leftovers. leftovers. <laughs> Who don't yeah, eat leftovers? Rob, you said you don't eat leftovers. Not like that. I hate leftovers. I'm Rob is good. bougie. I'm not bougie. I just don't. <laughs> I just don't like microwaving. You know, it's just because it causes a <laughs> <laughs> Some food is, is like almost better. Um, as a leftover. Next day. And hey, which yeah. one is that in front of you? Ooh, like what? Is that the one with mac and cheese Sometimes on it? pizza. I like pasta. This one. Yeah. Oh, yeah. oh, that one has mac and cheese on it. Oh, yeah. I'm after the pizza that. Your leftover pizza, do you microwave it or you put it in the oven? You put it in the oven, it's smashed. I microwave it. Just yeah. Now you got it in the oven, bro. Oh, you put it on the pan. It's crispy, the cheese melts again. You definitely take that. You put it on the top so it gets steamy. You put it on the top. Uh, full pizza in the morning. Uh, Wake up early in the morning. Nah. <laughs> eat that cold pizza. I'll, I'll, I'll do that cold pizza. Yeah, yeah. Man, I love, yeah. man, I, I love yeah. some uh, some pizza like this. One is eat it. I'll eat it. I also try this Chicago dog. Let's dunk with the jalapeno. Oh, yeah. Where you eat it? Where you get snack that? Yeah. Yeah. What is it? Oh, no. You, you want some? You want that? Yeah, I mean. Keep it. Cool, cool. Yeah, I'll eat it. Hey, Rob, this is yours, right? I got both. Okay, yeah, I want to try that. Oh, yeah, that one's good. Mm-hmm. That one's really good. Mm-hmm. That's the brisket one, right? The vibrant sauce. Yeah, yeah. Fire. Lizzie's on deck. Hey, did you buy this? Or you eat it, right? Oh, fuck yeah. For the sauce. <laughs> God, the Chicago dog, if you want to go back to the Midwest, mm-hmm. love me some Chicago hot dog. You know it's snowing there. In the Midwest? Yeah. No, wait till it warm up to go back. Yeah, I would love to. I would love to go to the Midwest, show mm-hmm. James and Tristan around, because they really don't know. Uh-huh. You know, they don't know it like us. The Midwest is amazing. I don't know anything about that. The Midwest is amazing. It just kind of get a little weird in the winter, but like the summers are like undefeated. The summers are such a pot. Yeah. Do you guys get like dry heat or is it humid heat or what kind of summer? No, it's normal. Yeah, it's just, yeah, it's just normal. It's a warm, warm, normal warm day. Yeah, it usually doesn't. It doesn't get like nineties all the time. It just gets like high eighties, like yeah. perfect. There's some. There's summer days that are warm. It's just like it's really nice day. Yeah. Mm-hmm. The Snoop was telling me like that makes sense because if you have bad weather all year, I mean, you have like a three month window to just live your life. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Everyone's probably oh like, yeah, hey, dopamine is super mm-hmm. high. Everybody's happy. People people really yeah. appreciate the like the nice weather more in the Midwest because here, um, Trump was like, uh, would you say like, yeah. are you wasting this like? Oh yeah yeah yeah. yeah. And he's like, so well, go good. Yeah, pretty much. I'm just like. Uh, you went to this beautiful sunny day, but this Houston, we always have beautiful sunny days. But in Wisconsin, if it's a sunny day you're sitting at the house, that is heck it. Oh, you, know, man, you gotta get outside. You don't get a lot of them. That honestly, that's what a good thing about living in Houston. But like amazing thing living in living in Cali. Every day is sunny. You it's don't so want to waste it. Yeah. Literally, do not want to waste your day. So you're like, I'm getting out this house. Yeah. You know, even if you tire, you don't want to do nothing, you're in the mood, I'm getting out this house. Yeah. I'm going to the beach and chill. You know, there's a picture. Yeah. Yeah, what's up with some of that? Um, All right, y'all, some of that challenge? Yeah, I'm going to get some of that big one dog. quarter of the way. <laughs> uh, how, how should it do? You want me to cut it for you? Yeah, maybe cut it, actually. All right. <laughs> yes, please. <laughs> <laughs> yes, Let me tell you what, what Snoop will really say. He said, yeah, you better cut it. <laughs> <laughs> no, but. Really not. <laughs> I'm the sweetheart. <laughs> Since when? <laughs> you saw the comment. <laughs> so how far do you think you could? Oh have yeah, thank you for showing love. That's my bad. Alright. Hey, by the way, you. I might be a piece. Yeah, let me get a piece, please. Ooh. Is that your plate? Alright. Now the flavor on here is crazy, y'all. I promise you that. 
I can't even imagine somebody eating this whole thing. <laughs> hey, like my mind, I can't wrap my brain around it. Yeah. How, what's the fastest thing? Yeah. Uh, what's the fastest someone's eating this whole thing? Oh, 19 minutes. 19, 19 minutes? minutes. Danny, they was going ham. They were just going. Ham. They were like crushing the fries, slamming it, it down. Crazy. Drink. It was crazy. Yeah, yeah, they, yeah. they had it professional. Yeah, yeah, and and, and yeah. almost slept here. Yeah. It was like I'm going to sleep. <laughs> it's it's <laughs> thing, Kai. It's oh, nice. oh yeah. Sorry. Yeah, I, de I definitely don't think it can be done. So if y'all do it, please, you know, kind of comment, post for us, let us know. Yeah. Get on that wall. Get on that wall. I would love to see it. Hey, and if y'all come here, make sure you tell them ZCC sent you. <laughs> yeah. Oh snap. And he'll be offering a hundred percent discount. Well, yeah. <laughs> Next thing. Matt about. All right. All right. Yeah. My first bite of the, the, the challenge. The yeah, what is it called? The yacht. The yacht. Yeah, yeah, mm -hmm. mm. Who? Not, not who made yacht? Yeah. Not mean Pablo Madrid. Or is that just before him? I just. Mm -hmm. I think it's just debate in general. Yeah. Right. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I got you. Just like the way they talk. Yep. You know, this tastes like a whole barbecue. I feel like yeah. every. Did I say the flavor on there is crazy? Yeah. It's kind of like a backyard foot. There you go. The whole backyard barbecue. Backyard barbecue. Mm. Mm. Yeah, y'all messed some fries up. <laughs> but you got to. Yeah, you did good. I'm going to get some of these carnitas inside the fries. Oh, that's a carnitas inside this. Definitely not. <laughs> yeah. They're like, they call it Cali fries or what? Mexican Cali fries. Mexico. Mexico. I think this uh this this is my favorite. It so is. Far, yeah. it's I favorite like my mac and cheese. No, I've been in the oh, south. Food. I've been in the south for what a few weeks now, almost a month, and I haven't had any like soul food places yet. Yeah. I've been dying to get to them, but this is the mac and cheese and the brisket is real good. Hey, you know what's crazy? Kev is opening up a soul food spot soon. Ooh. So we, Kev uh, is opening up a soul food spot soon. I'm oh, oh, definitely gonna, gonna be there. Here. Okay, so we definitely stay tuned for that. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Can you get this, yeah, you know I mean, like in a regular size? Because I'm loving the mac and cheese and everything. Uh, I just order it just to have some of it. <laughs> maybe, maybe, maybe it's called the Big Sam. You can get mac and cheese and oh. the brisket. The chicken and ribs doesn't come on it. Oh, no. Okay. Um, but make, maybe we'll make it a special name after the group. Yeah, I mean, it's Snoop Dogg. <laughs> That's a good idea, too. Yeah. It's yeah. just Snoop like, you know, having like a <laughs> football Sunday party. Y'all watching yeah. the game. The playoffs is coming up. March Madness is now. You can cater this. Just yeah. like just fed all five oh, of us yeah. plus there's leftovers. Yeah. So, I mean, you can low key get like eight people with that. Bunch of fries, bunch of I know what shot the cameraman, he, he ready to dive in too. <laughs> yeah, yeah. yeah, man. He ready to hop out. I want to make an order before I leave for that right yeah. there. I want the whole thing. Yeah, this is crazy. Uh -huh. I don't even know what it tastes like. I really don't even care. <laughs> <laughs> you sure I can eat like that? Yeah, I can eat. Not the whole thing, though. Yeah, but, but yeah. But I, I, can, I can put it down, though. Nice. Good. Fire, bro. Mm -hmm. I'm gonna get full. How about y'all? Yeah. All right. I love that. Oh, I mean, yeah. But the sweetness—that's the contrast. I'm looking for. Yeah. That's great. Mm -hmm. That's great. It's a, a blend of flavors. It's, it. it's a tag of taste, but it's delicious. I like. I love brisket too. Brisket is probably one of my favorite foods. Mm -hmm. So you a big barbecue person? No. But brisket is it? Yeah. I love brisket. Me and Jamie just had barbecue the other day. Yeah, let's get you. Out. I mean, I guess I guess I do like barbecue. I'm a little yeah. foodie, like at heart, I'm a foodie, mm. but I'm fighting it because I'm trying to get in shape. Like, yeah. I'm trying to gain weight, so I'm loving the most. <laughs> <laughs> the buns are great. I'm doing keto though, so I'm like, like trying to dox some of the buns, but 20 pounds, the solid points right now. Thank you. If I get to 180, just solid, I'd be straight. Yeah. 180. Yeah, 180 solid. You would be solid at 180. Mm -hmm. Walk around with my shirt off everywhere for no reason. Mm -hmm. 161. Mm -hmm. so. I hope you don't get it. <laughs> <laughs> He's an hater, yo. <laughs> no, I got you. I go to the gym with you every day. Let's do it, man. Keep telling more to do. Oh, there. Are we hitting the gym after this? Yeah. Oh, for sure. <laughs> oh, yeah. Hey, I'm not driving. I'm sleeping. Hey, well, right. We might need to take a nap back here. <laughs> but that's how it all started. It was all my day. <laughs> and the sauna, we're going to be... Oh, that sauna hits. Yeah. Yeah. That is the hottest sauna I've ever been in. Which one? Which uh, one? Okay. At, at the LA Fitness. Okay. It's a little button in the bathroom. Yeah, like whenever it's not... I thought you were saying that your you desk would get cool on LA Fitness, though. Like, you might press. Yeah. I like it. Who was, who was it? What did you do? Yeah, we go to the LA Fitness and Tom Ball, if y'all ask it. Oh, yeah. <laughs> I thought. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I 
was like, you better not. Then you leave all of this. <laughs> <laughs> no, but um, that is a, actually a really nice song. I mean, the gym is kind of so-so, but you got a song that's really, really yeah. so-so. Me, I don't think I never actually been to a sign before. Uh, oh, what? it's uh, Is it like, it's wow. like, is it bearable? It's bearable. Yeah. I mean, it depends yeah. on who you are. Not you, it's not bearable for you, is it? I mean, it's cool for like 10 minutes. Then like, I already know, I'd be like, I'm ready to get yeah. out of here. Well, if you're new to something, you have to get used to like an acquired mm-hmm. taste almost, but if you keep going, you'll like enjoy it like more and more. It's not bad. Yeah, it's a good sweat. Yeah. defense though, his first time going, but it's it's a super hot song. Oh, yeah. So that's not the average song. It's yeah. like, it gets really hot. Yeah, and, hot. and I was standing yeah. by the clothes, I couldn't even breathe. I was like, I got out of here. <laughs> It's We're like, in like 30 minutes. Yeah, y'all like get to that point where you like really like overheat, but you just got to get it out. Because no. like when, when you're done, you just feel so good. It's crazy. What does it feel like? Like when do you feel like you just lost a lot of weight? Yeah. Like, plus like you ever notice like when you wake up or if you like go out on a Saturday yes. or Friday, you wake up with a puffy face, you like kind of just feel lethargic. Yeah. You get up the sauna, you go into the sauna to recover. Yeah. Your face slimmed down. You know, you feel like you got all that junk out of you. Your hangover is gone. It's just, it's just fire. And you got that water weight off. Yeah, and if we go, like, say if we went out on a Saturday, like, hard, and you go and sweat it all out on Sunday, you will be sweating more than you ever have. Like, mm-hmm. when we go on the sauna on, like, a Tuesday or Thursday, it's not like going on a Saturday or Sunday. Yeah. You will just be sweating crazy. Right. Um, and you'll feel good after it. Right. You do you lose a lot of water weight, too. It's fine, especially if you're, like, bloated and stuff. Mm-hmm. You can knock that right out of you. You'll feel like a lot better, especially That's after like 80% of me is just water. Right. <laughs> I he goes in my son a whole new man. Yeah. That was crazy. Mine is Tito. Yeah, exactly. Slim, slim. So you guys like the KDO? Yeah. yeah. This is the first time I've seen him get it. And, you know, everybody gets so geeked up about the song, uh, Desires with Drake. If you can. Katie. 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 But this is Katie. <laughs> it is a different surrounding. <laughs> We were just vibing with the music on the way here. I wasn't even looking at this stuff on the outside. I, I was listening to a podcast today while I was making um like coffee this morning, and it was kind of like, is Drake's run over? Oh, never. No, he just dropped a three piece. They're like <laughs> one, two, three on the charts. Mm-hmm. Um, the argument was who makes better songs, Jay Z or Drake? Like I feel like people can't really decipher who's better or not. Like Jay Z is a better rapper. Jay Z is a better rapper. That's mm-hmm. I don't even That's know if you can argue that. But Drake. Is like Michael Jackson when it comes to a hit. Yeah. You people aren't playing Jay Z like they're playing Drake. I mean, I play Jay Z like that. I'm not but touching that one. It's just crazy. No, I got it. I'm feeling dumb. You don't want to touch that? Why not? Stands. <laughs> yeah, I feel you. But I mean, it, it, I, I'm like I'm in the middle. I can't really, really take it. This is just the conversation they were having. Yeah. What I was gonna say though, it looks like y'all was having a ball pulling up though. What was y'all listening to? Oh, we all listen- sorts of different things. We was listening to some house. And Joe LeBert. Believe it or not, Snoop Dad used to have that. <laughs> he went to the cell phone company and was like, can you please put this head on? <laughs> <laughs> no, that's a true story. Our phone number was 991 not 911, but. <laughs> We should tell them about the first time I came over and they, they cooked us a sauce. He was like, you want to come to my house for steak? And I was like, steak? Yes. And when I get there, they made us those like salad. <laughs> <Dude. laughs> He's making this story up. It was, it's literally reversed. No, no, no. no, no so no. they asked for Salisbury steak? <laughs> no, he asked his family. Yeah, he told me we were having steaks at his house and it was Salisbury steak. Come <laughs> on, oh, man. We don't got to be embarrassed. It's okay. Like the TV dinner ones? <laughs> No, 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 they, they for real brought us like hungry mans out. But it's okay, because you know, we're, we're friends, bro, so you don't have to be embarrassed about it or worried about it. Like, oh, I love you no matter what. Wait, so was it really reverse? <laughs> <laughs> I was going to no. buy more hot sauce on this. Um, let's make sure to get some caps there. <laughs> I'm not going to be the only one getting capped. <laughs> That's hilarious. Oh, man, so I ain't going to lie. This is a very fulfilling meal. Yeah. I'm fuller than a tick on a dog. But um what you guys think of this place? Try what you think. I'm actually I'm loving it dude. I definitely want to come back and like I love that burger like I said. Not burger, I'm sorry. I love that hot dog with the mac and cheese yeah. and the brisket. My, I think my favorite was probably the, the one you had, the brisket with yeah. the barbecue sauce. Yeah. I love barbecue sauce. Yeah. Mm-hmm. So yeah that was probably my favorite, you know, I love the jalapenos. I would definitely want to like try to mix and match some stuff yeah. around it to see 
if I can like create my own little vibe with it. Yeah, yeah. yeah, but it's yeah. it's definitely fulfilling. It's good. That's what's up. What you think? Um, I think I think everything was good. The fries were seasoned perfectly. Um, everything was great. I prefer the Cali Tex dog. His wife prefers a Cali Tex dog too, so I'll go with her. Happy wife, happy life. Yeah. <laughs> Me, I ain't gonna lie. I don't even know what's the name of this again. The Yada 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 The challenge to me was the best because of the flavor. It just brought so much flavor. It was crazy. But the Chicago dog, dog too, that's close to home, so I have to go with that being the second best. This was a great meal. Uh, definitely fill, fill up five hungry guys. So imagine what it can do for just a family, you know, kids and a wife. And yeah, we got leftovers. Yeah. yeah. No, what you think? Yeah. I think that was, I mean, just the flavors of everything was good. The Mac was. The Mac, good. right? Yeah, the yeah. Mac was nice, but it was such a thin layer. I wish there was more. Yeah. So I like, order a side of it now. Yeah. Um, but I think the, what was the one with the, with the coleslaw on top? That's the one, right? I mean, that was the one I had. Not the Mexicali? No, no, no. Or, like, Texas. I forgot that was the brisket dog. Who's the, who's okay. the, the brisket dog? Yeah. The, well, whichever one had the coleslaw, I, I like that a lot too. I, I really like the fusion of like sweet, savory combos. Yeah. That but, was, it was enough mac for the sandwich though, right? You just wanted more mac. Oh yeah, yeah, no, it was enough for the cool, sandwich. Cool, cool. I just like liked it. So yeah. Was, uh, yeah. I'm definitely gonna have to go with the yada I mean. Uh, there are so many flavors, so many blends. One thing I do like is the name of this place. I just think that's my dog's right up dog place. It's like hilarious. Yeah. We need, clever. we need to get a little baby in here. <laughs> hey, I wanna say big out, big shout out to my guy, Samson. So he introduced me to uh, Kev, we were, I was in the shop and then uh, getting cut up, Kev walk in and he was like, yeah, this is a big time, big time guy right here. It's about Kev, said he owns his own shop. And little did y'all know, Kev didn't talk about it, but this man was on uh, Family Feud and had a viral moment. I, I'm not gonna say it on here, but you guys go check it out. <laughs> say, type it in my wife, Steve Harvey, Family Feud. It is hilarious. But uh, ZCC nice. family, um, we're gonna wrap this up. Once again, I wanna say thank you to Kev for having us here at Best My Dog, ZCC family. I recommend you guys go check them out. Go to uh, Katy, Texas, uh, suburb of Houston. Uh, give them a check out. I'll have all the information in the description box down below. Their Instagram name, plus the address and uh, phone number where you, where you can reach them at. And once you guys do come, tell them that ZCC family sent you. The whole team sent you. But uh, ZCC family, uh, I'm gonna end this off, and as we all know, the grind never stops until the ZCC gang is on top. Let's get it! That's a dog. Uh, it's showtime, the whole place hopping. Stage rocking is for those who stay watching. For when my tape dropping, long as the bass knocking, I stay popping. I'm trying to run this shit forever like I'm Bay watching.